All right, so the first pitch in this series will be my fastball. Uh, so kind of kind of a four-seam fastball, if you will. And, you know, I, I started out like most kids, uh, four-seam, pretty standard grip, four-seam fastball, uh, fingers spread apart, thumb underneath this, this pointer finger here. Uh, that's as far under as I, I could get it. Um, but when I got to college, I quickly realized I wanted something that had a little bit more movement. Uh, so I started dabbling with putting my fingers closer together uh, to try to put one point of contact on the ball to get that movement that I was looking for. Uh, this grip alone didn't feel comfortable. So um, just just after tinkering around with it, playing around with certain grips, you know, I, I tried two seam, which which didn't feel comfortable to me. Uh, I actually went back to this and I just tilted the ball uh, a little bit. And this allowed me to feel like, uh, you know, I can keep keep my thumb more on the side of the ball where, uh, you know, my, my two main pressure points, if you will, if I was to take my thumb and my, I'll, I'll even go right between my, my pointer and middle finger because I like to think with my fastball, I'm, I'm trying to keep equal pressure. Um, is now I have more ball on the, you know, the side that I wanted to run to. So uh, that allowed me to feel like, hey, if I just stay directly behind this pitch, if I throw throw with these two fingers, this pitch will just naturally want to go that way. Um, yeah. So with this, I, you know, with that said, I wasn't trying to necessarily pronate or, or put more pressure on my pointer finger or do anything fancy. I just thought, hey, if I could just stay directly behind this pitch uh, and throw it, I should be able to get that arm side run that I'm looking for. Uh, and that's, that's what it did. So, you know, with this grip, I was able to get kind of this spin axis here where the pitch is getting drawn here. And, and, and if I kept it real low in the zone, I would get a little bit of sink action with it um, to induce ground balls. Uh, every now and then I would, I would throw it up in the zone uh, to pair it off of a splitter or, or even a curveball. Um, so instead of keeping my fingers close and together, um, when I'm throwing up in the zone, I would just put my fingers a little, little bit farther apart. And this allowed me to, instead of getting kind of this spin axis, I would get, I would get this spin axis where now that ball is going to want to stay at that plane uh, versus spinning this way and getting drawn down. Um, so I was looking for, hey, if I'm, if I'm throwing up in the zone, I don't want that pitch going back into someone's bat. Uh, I wanna make sure that they're swinging underneath it. So that, that's what I did um, you know, when I threw up in the zone is just move that pointer finger slightly over. And now I felt like I was comfortable enough to get this spin versus this spin to keep it up in the zone. But yeah, I prim primarily use it down the zone uh, to induce ground balls and yeah, so this is my my fastball grip. So it feels comfortable to me, and yeah, not nothing too fancy. Just just trying to throw it and let the grip do the work.